Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Good. <laughs> so it was almost four years ago that we first interviewed you guys about Maryville's Digital World Program. The, our program was just kicking off, and we got together with you guys. You were bright young freshmen at the time, and we asked you some questions about Digital World. Do you guys even remember what you said at all during that? It seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, well, hey, let's take a look back at 2015 and hear what you guys had to say at the time. Oh, <laughs> it's interesting how at first I wasn't too excited about it. I was excited I was getting a free iPad, though. Like, who wouldn't be? <laughs> but then again, that means I have more work to do because I have no idea um, about the basics of technology. I, have, I didn't know much about the basics. To be honest, I didn't think oh, I could well, even work it at all. I was confused on how to use the finger, the eye touch, or whatever it is. To be honest, I'll still say that. It's pretty cool because I don't even type in my password, I just use my finger. One of them. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen the iPad so far. It's actually a video oh, I made in English program, <laughs> and so it's an app called iMovie, <laughs> and I pretty much made my own movie. And the teacher asked us to answer. Uh, probably five or six questions within this movie and by the time I was finished with my video and I watched it I watched it like over and over and over again and I, I just thought it was the most amazing thing that I have ever done <laughs> the Wi-Fi here is the best Wi-Fi I have oh, ever so experienced sweet. in my entire yeah. life it is so awesome I get connection everywhere <laughs> oh, oh snaps all it. these <laughs> I've put all my classes in my calendar so I don't miss my classes because I can be a little forgetful sometimes. It's really helpful that my whole schedule and my iPad always there to remind me. Netflix was actually one of the first times <laughs> I remember like, oh, I got the iPad. It's been nice because I found old movies and old shows that I like watching, some, some old cartoons and stuff from when I was like nine. I found a series. Uh, the Flash. <laughs> I, I didn't watch that. It was still going. <laughs> 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 my, my brain kind of relaxed and, and tuned out a little bit, like Sudoku and some of the games on the app store. If I went to an elevator, I would tell them to come to Maryville because, well, yeah, I could get a free iPad. <laughs> and I find it really useful. Um, I find it a good study tool to help me study for my exams. Um, cool. But also because I think, I feel like Maryville is a very friendly, outgoing campus. That's hilarious. I, that was four years ago. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't too cringy, was it? <laughs> Sorry. You guys recognize those young men and women? I like the shirt that said Pam season. Like, <laughs> I know, I, I was obsessed with that shirt. <laughs> Man, they got messed up in the washer. <laughs> don't use the, tie, the, the pods. Don't use the pods. What, um... What are some of your memories of almost four years ago, first landing on campus? I don't know. I thought it was four years ago. Um, I, don't, I remember that shirt, though, because I went to a cab event that night. <laughs> I remember. It was uh, that girl from, oh, what was it? An MTV show. I forgot what it girl was. Talk, was it? Girl Talk, wasn't it? Girl Code. It was Girl Code, and I took a picture with her. Yeah, I remember that shirt. <laughs> I don't have it anymore, but... <laughs> what do you guys remember about 2015? Um, I would probably be all the good times, because that was like when I, um, I guess you could say made the most friends, and then like got up there and like made myself known. And I also met Austin and all these new people. I met Austin and my Houston and then Julissa was my roommate, so... Did, did you master the eye touch? Exactly. I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was the fingerprint thing. That was cool back then. It was. It still is. <laughs> so. um, 2015. I, think, I don't know. It's pretty interesting just, look, I guess, reflecting back on it. Um, just everything seems almost different. Uh, even just, like, the technology <laughs> of it. I mean, it's kind of different. Like, you could do, fret, like, face recognition like now, you know, like then that wasn't really a thing, even though it was 2015, but like that wasn't a thing. And like, I don't know, just being a little bit more naive and just like college and thinking that you kind of had all the answers or that you just knew what you're going to do. Um, you kind of like, we've learned a lot, I can say. We definitely learned a lot since then, so. 
So what were you, I would like to ask Julie, so what were you first thinking when you got that free iPad? I was so excited because I've never had an iPad before. So getting this brand new iPad, but also coming to a place where I've never been before either was such a neat thing for me. And I was kind of worried given the workload that I would have because we're getting an iPad. Um, I, I mean, like English is not even my first language and now they're making me learn technology, technology <laughs> language too. So I was getting a little anxious about that. But once I got the iPad, and I know one thing that Austin said is once he did that video, he kept replaying and replaying it because he became so prideful of like how awesome of a work job that he did. And that was the same result for me whenever I was able to make videos or make different kinds of plannings. I became so prideful about it too. I'm just like, like I actually did this. I just think whenever you hear movies or you hear those words, you tend to think it's something that you'll never be able to do. But whenever you're given something with so many opportunities and if you can actually push yourself to do so much more, it becomes a blessing for you to have such an amazing tool that can help you exceed with what you think you can do. So I thought that was an awesome opportunity for me. Yeah, I remember interviewing you. Some of you were comfortable with tech and some were not. And you had mentioned just this was gonna be some of your first opportunity to use technology. Uh, how far do you guys think you've come along with your use of tech and specifically the iPad, Muna? I still suck. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little better now, come on. I definitely am way better than freshman year, but I know like as technology advances, I need to advance with it and I'm like mm -hmm. lagging, <laughs> so. Austin, I know you've done a lot of cool things with the iPad. Talk about how far you've come in these almost four years. Um, yeah, I've came really far. I mean, just being a, a communications major, um, we have to do a lot of, pretty much as technology advances, we kind of have to know what's going on. Um, and so a lot of my classes, we've definitely incorporated the iPad uh, just as casual, you know, learning. So uh, one of the things I remember doing, I don't know, I didn't talk about it then, of course, I didn't have the experience, but, um, you know, later I ended up uh, using this app called Book Creator, but we used that app again, uh, like my sophomore, junior year, uh, to make like study guides for other, <clears throat> for other students to learn. Um, about like some of the key terms or some uh, concepts that we were talking about in this class. So students will have to make a book almost with like study guides, different videos. Um, you have to put all that into like a book and then you have to present it and then you get to share it to everyone else. So that was something freshman year I probably didn't think that I would be able to do. Um, but I think as we just kind of did more things with the iPad, we kind of became more comfortable and naturally um, you know just using a MacBook and then using an iPad I kind of realized where my strengths will lie with certain tools um, so that kind of also helped me to navigate you know which which when should I use the iPad when should I use a computer when should I get things done um, but ultimately the iPad has definitely took me a long way so and you mentioned, obviously, in the video that you used iMovie and made your own yeah. movie and in that project. Jersey, do you have a project of some kind in class maybe that you can recall that maybe you're most proud of or that the iPad helped you in some way? Um, well, I mean, the very, like, the first big project I did as a freshman was also an iMovie and I used them. And I never thought I would use that app, I guess. Is it an app? Yeah, why, oh, okay. why, did, you, why did you feel that way? Um, I don't know. I felt like... People who made movies only use that, and I was just kind of like there. <laughs> like I remember downloading it on my Mac back at home, and I was like, "What is this?" Like I looked at it, and I was like, "I don't know what to do." I'll just like exit out of it. But um, I had to do it for my use time, so I was like, "Okay, well, I guess I'll give it a shot." And I put it together. It actually wasn't that hard. It was pretty easy. So I also watch it over and over. <laughs> so in some use some class, they made you be a filmmaker, basically. Mm -hmm. How, was iMovie, I know you found, you got it figured out pretty quickly. Was it pretty easy to use, you think? Yeah, I mean, at first I struggled just because I didn't know what each button did. But I mean, after probably 20 minutes, I was able to figure it out. Muna, do you have any classroom projects uh, that you can recall that blew your mind once you were finished with them? Mine was in USAM, and we used the Book Creator app, I think. And I love writing, so when I made my own little story about like myself and my family, that's what I was most proud of, and I got to show it to the class. Is there anything that surprised any of you? This is a question for any of you. Is there anything that 
surprised you about having the iPad with you all the time in, inside of class and out? Just anything you're, where you thought, wow, I'm, I'm glad this happened to me. I'm glad I have this. Yes. So going back to English not being my first language, because I have an iPad, all my life I grew up without Wi-Fi. I didn't have Wi-Fi in my home, so whenever I had to get something done, I would have to go to a McDonald's, a Starbucks, and get stuff done. Um, but here, you know, wherever you go, there's Wi-Fi, and I think that was a huge blessing for me to be able to excel. And so whenever I'm in class with my iPad, not only do we have Wi-Fi, but we also have an iPad. So whenever I'm in class, if there's a word that I don't know, Sometimes I tend to Google it on my iPad or I write it down and then I'll easily have time right after class to look up what those words mean. So that's why my English has improved so much. My vocabulary has been a lot better than initially. But another cool thing about the iPad too is whenever um, people are talking about certain things, I could easily go into a website, take screenshots and then go back and further evaluate more about that topic if I'm interested. So that's the really cool thing about the iPad that I found whenever I'm working on some stuff. It's very easy, it's accessible, and it just helps you further your education. And it's something that typically not many students get to get if they're not as active or they don't have as, as many tools on hand. It's great because you can gain the knowledge you want right now. Right. There's no need to wait, no need to go to the library and try to find a book. It's right there on the iPad for you. Anybody else? Surprises of any kind? Yeah, um, I never had an iPad. Or, well, I never had a tablet um, just before I had the iPad. So I was skeptical on pretty much going about using it and what I would use it for. Um, but as the time went along, I almost liked using it more than anything else. Like the iPad was my go-to simply because... Sometimes I didn't feel like maybe going to the library to use a computer or if I had my personal laptop, I didn't feel like pulling it out. I know I could just go straight to the iPad, you know, prop it up and do whatever I was looking to do. Um, and then also, you know, there were many resources on there as far as like GarageBand, which kind of became um, important to me now because I like making music. Um, but that was also my introduction to music and, you know, making beats and that kind of stuff. And um, that helped kind of expand to where I am now. Um, so I would say that, you know, a lot of the, uh, some of just the applications on the iPad kind of helped me grow and um, want to get me into more advanced, I guess you could say, softwares. So a lot of those basic techniques, those were something that I just had with me all the time. You know, bored, want to make music or I have to do a project for class. Um, some of those basic uh, applications kind of helped me to realize like, oh, what else is out there for me to do, you know, that may be a little bit more intense. Um, so that was definitely one of the benefits that I got from using the iPad. You guys may not have known it, but when you came to Maryville four years ago, again, being the first class to get iPads, you were pretty much thrown directly into what we call our active learning ecosystem. Uh, in other words, iPads in the classroom, being able to deploy, uh, your your pro, you know, your projects to the, the the screens and all of that. Do you based on all the projects that all your professors have given you and making you make movies when you're not a filmmaker and that sort of thing? I mean, do you guys feel at all better prepared for your future career? Yeah, I mean, I do. I like I said, I feel a lot more comfortable with the technology. Uh, I know coming in as a freshman, I did know a good amount of technology, but it was kind of the basics like Microsoft Word and stuff like that. But now I feel like, you know, I can use apps and all these different things and I feel like I can make like a presentation more, like not really feel like a presentation. Um, I, I don't know, it's just, I feel a lot better with it. Luna, what do you think? I think that technology, like especially the iPads can help me with um, in the future with like clients that I'll have or patients um, and storing their files on it and making sure that it's all organized and everything or maybe like helping them with trying out different apps that could help them with coping with whatever um, issue or mental illness that they have. What is your confidence level now with technology? <laughs> it has, it's actually improved by, by a lot. I would say that all of the resources I was able to be introduced here have only not only prepared me to be more organized, there's a lot of apps that I've learned that have helped me become more organized and more professional too. There's a lot of leadership apps out there. 
but definitely being able to learn so much has helped me realize that everyone has a different learning style and teaching style. So taking that into consideration, whenever I do become a professor or whenever I do go out into the real world and become part of a business or whatever I decide to do, everyone's going to be learning differently. Therefore, in order for that, I will need to know how to use different medias to understand and how to facilitate certain conversations with people and be able to help them grow. So I've been able to learn how to use you know, video, how to use music, there's been like different things that we've been learning in the iPad. And by being able to get all those apps together, I can find ways to teach someone. Socrative, which is also anonymous and is something I've been doing in a lot of the classes, especially the pure, the USEM class that I taught, I used a lot of Socrative. So there's different ways that we can get people's attention and then there's different ways we can get people to bring to the table without feeling like they're obligated to speak at the table. There's other ways that we can get that happen. So definitely technology has definitely helped me understand more about what we can do to help bring everyone together. Cool, we are almost done. Does anyone have any closing thoughts or anything else they want to say? I would definitely say that ever since I got the iPad, I've been more focused on wanting to know more about apps. Before that, you know, I did have an iPhone, but it wasn't the same. I was the type of person that's like, I'm too skeptical, skeptical about technology. I don't want to know much. I'm just going to use my phone for texting and calling and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I was that person. But once I started getting the iPad and I started looking at all the different apps, a lot of people would tell me, well, if you want to save money, you should get the McDonald's app. You should get this app. You should get this. So I started downloading all these apps. So now whenever I go to McDonald's, I get free coffees and I get free oatmeal. So I tend to get a lot of free stuff now. So I've been actually able to save a lot of money by just getting apps. And it's been super awesome because it's financially helping my budget. Mm. Now I'm also helping my parents save money as well because I'm going back and telling them you need to download this app. I've actually finally got Apple Pay, which is something I never thought I'd ever do. I'm over here working at the pharmacy, seeing people pay with Apple Pay. I'm like, what are they doing that they're not they're not sliding a car? You know, I'm over here like so naive to these things. And now I'm finally that person on the other side using, you know, just one button to pay some to pay for something. So definitely I feel like the iPad was a great foundation and a great segue to being able to do more outside of school, which is pretty cool. And the Apple pens are pretty cool too. <laughs> Julissa Austin, Muna Dritzia, thank you so much for joining us today. Can we have you back in four years to watch this video?